Good morning. So today was actually Monday. Welcome to another New York City day in my life. Except Mondays, I don't have classes. So hello, Tara, no shoes. It's kind of like a slow morning and I've been getting so many comments from you guys asking to kind of see what I do on my days off and when I'm not in classes and so I thought this would be the perfect time to vlog and kind of show you what I decide to do with my day I guess when I don't really have a structured schedule. So today I woke up early anyways just because I've been waking up so early naturally. I made myself some avocado toast for breakfast and sat down with that and some orange juice and then just watched Netflix. Good morning! So everyone just left for class because today is Monday. I don't have class today. I just made myself some avocado toast and orange juice for breakfast. I'm so excited. So I am going to eat that, watch New Girl, and then I have some like homework stuff and to-do stuff that I want to get done. Kind of around lunchtime, I'm gonna go to Brooklyn because I want to find like decorations for my bedroom because it feels so bare. I also really want to do a room tour for you guys, so I kind of need to like get stuff done. And then tonight I'm going going to go to Caitlin and Olivia's apartment and make some pasta with Caitlin for dinner. So I'm so excited because I have only seen her once since I've been back. Let's feast. Mondays are my true one day alone because everyone else has such a packed schedule in the suite on Mondays. So I just sat down, watched New Girl, finished my breakfast, and then did a quick cleanup in my room and made my bed. And then somehow, somewhere in this morning, I ended up on Lily Chi YouTube and I don't know how. I sat on this futon. We got a little futon for the suite finally and it's just from Ikea. It was a really cheap one that folds out into a bed because the guest policy has been lifted. So we might have some friends come stay. And I just sat with this new cat blanket Kenzie got and did some work. Hello. <laughs> so I just finished doing work and then I edited and did voiceovers. But it's only like 11 right now. It feels like I've been in here forever since no one else has been in here. Honestly, my skin isn't bad. Like, it doesn't look bad. But I feel like, like, you know, you just notice stuff on your own skin more than other people do. So I feel like my skin has been doing weirdly worse since I've been back here. And I don't know why because I'm doing that little checklist. Like, I've been eating healthy and drinking lots of water and I get lots of sleep. So it's like, I don't really know what's going on. I showed it in a video, but first sent me like a little skincare package. So I just tried their exfoliator right now. And actually, my skin. It feels really good. I will keep you updated on how that goes, but I'm actually loving it. This headband, also from them. Just gonna moisturize my face, do some makeup, get dressed. Then I'm ready to go to Brooklyn. And then I have to go Trader Joe's, pick up some pesto. We'll see you in a second when I don't look like this. <laughs> We're ready to go. Oh my God, it almost fell. The Brooklyn thrift fit, so. We got the red high tops, my Sanrio bag. These overalls are from Earthbound, and this is just a brandy tank. Let's go, we're making good time. It's only noon. All right, the goal of the day was to find as many decorations as possible for the suite. So I went and took the subway to Brooklyn, took the L train, and then went to the mini mall, which I'd never been to before. One of my friends had recommended it. It ended up being really small actually, and there were some stuff that I almost got, but then I just, I ended up leaving. So I walked through all the different shops, and then afterwards I got hungry, and I stopped at this restaurant called Sweet Chick, and I just got these like honey glazed chicken tenders and fries, which were so good. Okay, literally just got off the phone with my mom. Um, had such a big meal went into one more little vintage shop and now i'm walking i gave up i'm walking the l train we're gonna see if we find anything but that chicken was so good and i had some fries left so slay i ended up weirdly doing a lot of walking around brooklyn going back and forth because the l train was closed and then i stopped at this random record shop and then it started raining so ultimately i ended up just deciding to go back to manhattan where i went to some other shops but one of my favorite things about this year so far is i think freshman year i was always in the city and always on campus and this year i've been doing so many little day trips whether it's like different places in brooklyn or coney island and i think it's made this year so much better already but anyways once i got back to manhattan i went to an open l train vintage and a record store here's my little haul let me show you got changed as soon as i came back in the room because i was like so dead came back chugged so much water and then I've been laying down for like half an hour. So yeah, basically it started raining in Brooklyn and so I ended up like just leaving. It was not very successful. I should have planned it out better. But let me give you a tiny haul. Went to two different record stores. The first one, this one was in Brooklyn. It was a random one. It was like 
really dead in there so it's kind of awkward but i couldn't find posters anywhere so i just found like some cheap records that i can hang the case up on the wall i got this beach boys one and it's got two sides but the side is like cuter so i'll probably hang it up with this side basic it has the vinyl in it too but my record player is in california and then from the same one i got it's like this off the beatles track so it's just instrumental version I definitely want to listen to this one day there's this side and then this side and then when i got back to manhattan I went to Academy Records, I got this little sticker from the cash register too, which is cute. But from here, this one was a little bit pricier, but I loved the cover. Bob Dylan recorded music, but with, I think it's like live recorded, I'm not fully sure. But look how like lovely, like isn't that so cool? I don't know, even the back is cool, so. Then I went to L Train, okay. I walked all the way to L Train, the one in Brooklyn, and then it was like newly closed on Mondays only. I, I ended up just like coming back and went to an L Train here in Manhattan, and then I got a sweater, and it's like, okay, it's Banana Republic. It was only $10, but it was so cute. I love it. So cute. I feel a little bit recharged now, so I'm gonna put on some music and then hang up some stuff and then do some more work. I ended up just putting on some music on the speaker, some like rainy, cozy jazz music, and then I started hanging up everything on my walls that I had gotten today, and Tara came in halfway through, so then we just ended up chatting, but it was so cozy. I still need to find posters, so if you know for any good thrift shops in New York, please let me know. But after hanging everything up, I took a quick break because as I said earlier, I was feeling a little drowsy today, a little dead. So made some coffee, which honestly worked out perfectly because it was raining outside, so it was just like the coziest warm drink. It is officially raining. It started pouring a second ago. I put the records up and then I put it all the way at the top so that it would make the room look bigger <laughs> because it stretches all the way to the ceiling and I think it worked. And then I have these two vinyls here. I just hung this up. Heather and I went to Coney Island two days ago. So much fun. But on the way we were in Prospect Park and we stopped in this tiny thrift store and this old lady was running it. And I bought these little wooden dolls. They were a set. They were only $3 and they're so cute. I love them so much. And then I I just like hung up these right here. These are the raspberry chocolates that I'm going to bring to Caitlin's tonight for dinner for her and Olivia. Just made some coffee because I wanted like a nice warm drink. It's raining outside and it's so cozy and I'm just gonna lay in bed and draw for my portfolio and then do some editing before I have to go later. It's been like a weirdly long time without me having anything on my walls and if you've seen any of my videos even from like way back high school my walls even sometimes my ceilings are always covered in posters and art and everything so i just haven't had anything up and i like didn't even realize until i put this up already how much better i feel now and like how much cozier it feels in here i'm in such a better mood and i'm gonna keep looking for art after my little room tour, not really for you guys, I swear I'm getting that up soon. I'm working on that right now. I ended up just laying in bed with my sketchbook and my animation kit book that I really need to get into more. And I just drew and edited while the sun set. 7.49 now, so I am about to head out. I basically, not gonna lie, I really needed this downtime. Just sitting in the room and it being cozy and the new stuff on the walls and like being in comfy clothes and just like literally chilling. It was so nice. Did some drawings and then I didn't vlog it, but I spent like an hour editing. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and finish that video tonight because I, it's for, it's not gonna go for two days, but this is one that I think I need to get reviewed. So I I need to like hurry up and send it. I think I'm honestly gonna stay in this sweatshirt because it's so comfy and I'm just feeling like chilling. Not that my other outfit earlier was really crazy. Go to Trader Joe's on the way to pick up some pesto. I actually walked by this apartment in May with Caitlin when they were waiting to move in, but then I ended up going back to California before like ever seeing the inside of it. So this is the first time I'm seeing their place and I'm so excited. As you can see, we got the pesto and then Caitlin cooked the pasta and we had this fun little dinner of like pasta chicken nuggets. Hi! <laughs> hello! I know from the moment she said the hello like that, that this was starting. <laughs> this is our home. <laughs> so 
of these. I did like the TikTok mirror thing. With this was like Santa because I was oh, I didn't even through realize. this entire yeah. thing and I just woke up it's to this beautifulness. Uh, we yeah. have our IKEA table. We got a compliment yes. on this actually from the man who stomps above us. He came down because he thought I was actually dying in a fire. He smells smoke, so he came down <laughs> at 2 a.m. and he complimented our IKEA, our IKEA table. That's so, so cute. That was a win. And, and then the little skins, our little critters. Your critters, they're so cute. Uh, our yes. Did you guys just like thrift this? This is a random this family. This is a hashtag yeah. thrifted. This is from, where was this from? Mother of Junk in Brooklyn. Yeah. Oh, I should have gone there today. Cheap. Like we can For like decoration. This is our microwave that also doubles as a convection oven. This is my certificate <laughs> of sorority sister membership. We just We're stocked her up. All the Trader um, Joe's goodies. Yeah. Oh, not sponsored. You know a Trader Joe's fridge when you see it. <laughs> yes, we are We're such a fun employee. This is our closet. It's messy. As hell. But so we got a shoe rack for it. So we can get a shoe rack. And, but we're still not going to show. Improvement. We can show. We can show. This is the is bathroom. Intimate? A little intimate. Okay. Ooh, I haven't even seen the bathroom. Yes. Okay, guys, this is my room. Um, <laughs> this is my bed that I built myself. That was from Wayfair.com, and they sent me the broken bed. So, like, I had to bring it down and get a new bed and bring it up. You just look around. <laughs> I just look like, around. Let, it so. <laughs> let the art speak for itself. Oh, Beautiful. I did get this really. I want to show this off because my sister just randomly got this for me. And it's the cutest little deer. Oh. Follow me. Let's go. <laughs> Take my hand. Oh. That's why we're getting the little kitty. Our blanket basket. We have a printer. Patty Smith. Oh, yes. That's very important. Our TV. We have a Wii. Oh my we god. We need to play Wii tonight. <gasps> you need to make your bed. That is so cute. You know, like, I found this lamp on the street. Oh. Oh. Best find yeah. in the world. The little book stack. Book stack. So and then got a little, little fall going here. A little pillows. Yeah. Some book. Oh my god. Sponsor, Mia, Mia B, Mia B. Oh, our dear, okay. dear friend Tony. Oh, our dear friend Tony in photography. She made this. That's her. That's her. Cute. She made this lovely, lovely, lovely zine called My Place on the Hill. It's so I cute. I highly recommend all the followers, all the followers to buy this. Oh my god. All 19,000 of you. Follow My Place on the Hill on Instagram. I you guarantee will you, you will not regret it. This is the best thing you will ever invest in. Yes. So I Olivia's a vlogger. Caitlin's a saleswoman. <laughs> I Caitlin's myself. That you literally. I'm selling like a life. This is my nightstand. Wait, are you reading this? Or is this for class? It's for literature class. Okay. I'm actually reading Crying in H Mart right now. Oh my god, do you like it? I really like it. It's it's closer, but but you guys are. It's yeah. unique. It's unique, but it's not actually that fucking unique. Coming this summer to a theater near you. It's the original. It's not an original print, but it's like a, 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 a copy of the original art. It is. It's really cool. <laughs> this is my bed. Pillow and the yeah. stuffies. And so then sweet. I have a little calendar and then my wardrobe. I love how you're keeping up with the dates, princess. I keep up with the dates every day. I switch it that every day. That is amazing. I love that. Switch out the David Bowie poser for a mirror so I can do my makeup. Oh, perfect. Oh, oh my god. Mia, yeah, you would love these. What? Or oh, shit. I'm spilling it. I got these this summer. These are beautiful. I got these in Lisbon this summer. And then I put them above my bed. Oh my god. So these are get, so pretty. Get these framed and put them above I, my Well, bed. I love this one. Yeah. Oh, that's like so green, cool. Like, uh, not the green, but the fucking color isn't orange. Wow. Miss I World Traveler. Lisbon. It's so cozy here. Oh, thank you. Our we home is us. your home, and our home is every Mia B. Mia app. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mia number one. Is. This is going to be the like Christmas vlog home. That is something we are very this excited to announce. This is the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. This, this is literally. This, 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 this pants was at the Hyde House because it's the. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> After hanging out in Olivia and Caitlin's place for a little while, we went to Van Leeuwen and we got some ice cream. I got the vegan, I think it's vegan pumpkin cheesecake ice cream. Caitlin's cute little sprinkles. Anyways, after that, I just went home and went straight to bed, which was so needed. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a film vlog actually this weekend.